What is your stance on body count? So again, I'm going to, I'm going to stress, like you said, my stance, right? My stance and my experience is for a woman, and this is going to sound double standard, but if I'm being honest, it, it kind of is double standard, right? Because men are very ego driven. Men are driven by that conquest, by that conquering as where women are not driven that way. Women are driven by their emotions, by their connection, by feel wanted, by feeling desired. And so when a man meets a woman that he has that connection with, that he feels is an, is, is an asset for him, can be that investment, typically that body count is going to dictate her loyalty. Notice I said typically, not every time, right? But if, if a woman has been, and I'm just going to throw out, numbers not even important. They're not even important. But if she has, we'll just say, quote unquote, a higher body count, the likelihood of her not being loyal is very high. And I've seen it happen in a lot of my male clients time and time again, that if she has been that person, her loyalty is diminished. Not saying every time, but that's in my experience. Right. Um, is it possible for somebody who has a body count of one, two, or zero to also be disloyal down the road? Absolutely, but the likelihood is less. Okay. Is it possible? Like, so let me ask you this. When a woman has, has reached you know, <clears throat> fertility and beyond, right? So she's, 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 you know, her body is woman, right? Her body is no longer child and she gets older and she gets out there, uh, in college years, this kind of yeah, stuff, yeah, you know, twenties, yeah. uh, is she supposed to be looking for a relationship all the time? I think that, I see where you're going about coming into her own and learning her body and learning what she likes. And I'm not, and, and by what, by the way, what I said is not judgmental at all. And you're, and you're right. Going back to my hut, you said, you said your husband loves you because he knows me. He doesn't care about the peepees. Right. And, and I agree with that. I agree with that totally. Because if I found a woman that I was absolutely head over heels with, I don't care if she was with one guy or a hundred guys, if I knew and I felt her loyalty and that connection, it wouldn't matter. It doesn't matter. My, my debate in this, my debate in this is based on experience of my clients is that when they are with a woman that has been with more men, they're not as loyal. That's, I think, where the debate is coming into play. Does that make more sense? Right. Um, so I, I, I don't necessarily attach this disloyalty to body count just because there's so many reasons there's a difference between having a high body count because you had fun and having a high body count because you're dysfunctional i i agree i agree and that's why i say assess me not my body count am i dysfunctional do i come across as somebody who is insecure not do i all. need validation through physicality the no kissing for three months data rule is a great way to come down to maturity over validation, over physicality. I have men who say, I tried to use you know, kissing for three months data roll and, and she, she, she got mad, right? And yeah. she got mad because she wanted the low lying fruit. Like assess me, accept me for my character and personality. That takes more confidence. 100%. I'm more insecure. So when you validate me based on my body, which is low laying fruit, which is easy. And you know, just as much as I do, it's easy to get a man to sleep with you. A hundred percent. And so it's, it's about assessing the person. Are you insecure or are you confident in yourself? I agree with that. I agree with that. There's, there's no, there's no debate there. I agree with that. And I also agree with the three month thing because that's not only, the, the rule that I have for myself, but it's a rule that I set forth for my clients as well. And especially my female clients, I explain to them that, look, if you're serious, if you're a hundred percent serious about wanting to date, about finding a long-term mate, not only are you going to weed out an abuser, somebody toxic, a narcissist by having that boundary, you're going to weed them out, but you're going to actually, your likelihood of having that man fall in love with you is that much higher because you're going to build up the value press and you're going to actually build up that connection and he's going to have respect for you. Like uh, something that I say is how will you know they'll respect you if you don't give them the opportunity to show you they do? Yeah, 100%. I agree, 100%. Yeah, so I, I say to women, when somebody asks you about body count, block and delete. Because it's an indication of control. 
I had rules for you before I met you. I controlled your body before I met you. Did you follow my rules? That's what that question is. Did you follow my rules? Um, because I say to women, don't, don't let somebody come along and say, I controlled you. Choose the person who says, I want to know who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with that. A lot of what you're saying, and, and I want to make it clear too, I don't think you and I are disagreeing. I don't think we're disagreeing at all. Um, I, think, I, I think that you are speaking a lot of truths. I think we are aligned in a lot of the things that you're saying. I wanted to chime in though, because I, I feel there's a lot of men and women that are very judgmental on the body count part, but oh. there is, there, there's, there's definitely some psychology behind it that there's a correlation behind, are you kind of going back to what you said yeah. about er, earlier, um, uh, you know, when a woman's exploring and, and finding out who she is, was that 10, 15, 20 years ago? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But the point going is, is, is that person still locked in that, in that programming right now? Are they still hopping from relationship to relationship? Are they not staying single for at least a year? Are they having one night stands? These are all indicators of, are they emotionally available and how loyal are they going to be? Mm, I don't know. I don't know because, because I mean, you are describing me, right? When you talk about high body count, but that was me having fun. That was me exploring. That was me saying, you know what, the bodybuilder, you look like fun. Let's do this, right? And right, I, just, right, I right. just want that experience. And there's nothing right. wrong with me having that experience. And it did not take me down in any way, shape, or form because I was in charge of that experience. I don't have a high body count because I wasn't in charge or control of myself. My high body count has everything to do with my sense of adventure. So do you right. want to know if I'm adventurous? Let's have that conversation. But uh, to be honest, if you ask me what my body count number is, my answer is I don't know. Because I've literally not taken the time to quantify how many people I've been with. Right. Because it's irrelevant to who I am. I am very capable of devotion and deep deep devotion i'm devoted to my husband still after 17 years he is so interesting i am devoted to his character his consistency his affection his integrity his brain he's so fucking intelligent it turns me on and so i want to be with somebody who thinks the same thing about me and for the record my body my heart my husband has a body count of three including me wow and he doesn't give a fuck about who I've been with. He cares about who I am. Right. And, and I and I bet you, if if I was a betting man, I bet because even your demeanor now, you show him your loyalty. You show him all of that. So he's willing subconsciously, psychologically. I don't give a shit who she's been with because I know that it's about me right now. And her dedication is to me. And that's valid. That's 100% valid. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's why I use a no kissing for three months dating role. If you ask me about body count, you're out of here. You're out of here. If you're interested in who I am and we build a connection and I, I come to a point naturally through knowledge and insight where I'm like, damn, dude, damn, dude. You know, that person yeah. has my interest. Yeah. But I, I don't worry about my husband cheating on me even though he has a body count of three, including me, I'm not worried. He's going to be like, I need more excitement right, I need more right. variety. Right. We right. could even argue for low body count, how dangerous that is. These are people who might feel they're missing out on something. Right. It, it can go both ways. Absolutely. I've seen it Absolutely. go both ways. Uh, absolutely. So, so the body <clears throat> count question is moot.